Welcome back everyone. In this one, quick video on Forza Horizon 4. Now I've seen quite an uptick in Forza Horizon 4 viewership with my existing videos. Um, and I don't think it's just because people want to play it on the Steam Deck. I think it's because people want to buy it and play it before it's too late. December being the time when the game gets delisted. Now obviously you can carry on playing the game if you've purchased it at that point. But if you haven't purchased it at that point you're missing out on what is an absolutely cracking game. So um, what am I playing on today? Well as you can see at the top right there, or top left even, we're getting over 60 FPS the whole time. And we're running on this, this little machine here. The GPD Win 4 2024 edition with the 8840U processor. And I'm running ultra settings. I'll just show you. Ultra render quality. We're going to do all its own thing. 1080p. I've plugged it into a monitor for the first time ever on the channel. I never plug anything in a monitor. But I have a new little stand down here. And uh, I'll maybe do a review on this later. It's a generic stand, but it has a really, really wide base. So it pretty much takes any type of handheld. And it tilts them back at such an angle and supports them in such a way that there's lots of vent space. So, and the um, GPT-14 is a right chunky boy. So if anybody's interested in this, I'll do a little uh, review on this in the coming weeks once I've tested it fully. And at the moment, it's just HDMI connected to this old monitor. If I could get a better monitor, I would. I saw no point in pushing it any further than 60 FPS. Now I'm using Adrenaline's Fluid Frame Insertion because it's a feature that's there and we're also only, if I pull up the side menu here we're only using 16 watts normal and boosting up to 18 watts that's a little bit further than the Steam Deck we get pushed normally but at those wattages we can run ultra quality and I have to say this feels brilliant I'm using a separate controller just to make it a bit easier on the video and um, as you'll see I've got quite a lot of scratch marks on my lovely little Oscar one. I have to say I'm really impressed with this. If you could pick this game up, I would just say buy it regardless of the price because you're going to miss out if you don't. And it is a really, really good fun game. And just these new handhelds are now getting to the point where they're so powerful you can run them at ultra quality without even really pushing the power that far on them. Yeah, that was a good bit of driving by me, wasn't it? Whoops. It'll buff out. Brilliant. Now, I wouldn't normally play games on a big screen. I'm always a handheld gamer, but I have to say, just docking this here, there's no eGPU. This is just, just by the 12 CUs of RDNA 3 on this little um, GPD-14. It's just it's doing absolutely cracking, isn't it? Really would like to get a nice uh, high refresh monitor, but I'm not doing 70 FPS there, so it's not really necessary. As you see, the frame time graph looks pretty good. I think there's a few little micro stutters. I'm feeling them, but maybe it's just there uh, because this is not a very good screen. Oh dear. That went bad very quickly. Oof. Does it just go right back through? Can't do that in real life. Now this game's great fun on the Steam Deck but you are going to be running much lower settings than this. Going for a wee jaunt up towards Arthur's seat. One of the things I do like about Forza Horizon 4 over 5 is, you know, I live in the UK I've been all over the UK and you recognise little bits, there's little bits of, well obviously there's a bit of Edinburgh in here and there's uh, bits of other cities as well, bits around the Lake District, it's great fun Dri driving around these places you've actually been before in cars that I definitely haven't driven before in 400 yards, turn right. Now that's the sound coming from the GPD-14 because I'm actually using an HDMI to DVI converter because this monitor doesn't have HDMI. Right. 
Ah, uh, here we go. The, the problem you have here is you, you tend to recognise bits of scenery and then realise it's all been mixed up and moved around. But then I can understand why. Let's go drive up here. Now I have seen quite a big uptick in the amount of people in this game right now. I was just sitting parked at the side of the road pre prepping the hardware and I uh, had various people in supercars revving up and driving past me. It's great to see. Great to see when an old game gets a new release of life. I really I really hope Microsoft maybe reconsider. Obviously they've got some some licensing issues. It'd be good if they can get on top of them. It does feel a little bit like there's a little bit of micro stutters now and then, but you have at your that frame time graph is pretty smooth and we're getting about 70, up to 80 FPS now because we're away from everything, but um, it, it never really drops below 60 from what I've seen. If I, if I knock it down one watt to... Uh, oh dear, that's a little bit struggling here. Have a look in here. If we drop this down to 15 watt TDP, we will see um, the FPS drop quite a bit. So up here it's saying 74, but if I go into a built up town area, that will soon drop down to a much more sluggish 58, 59. kind of odd looking at the scenery and, and knowing that I'm not a million miles away from some of these places. <laughs> ah, there's the bridges. Those are closer to home than I can uh, admit. There we have it. Only two in this though. The new one wasn't open at that time. Uh oh. Well, this is going badly wrong. Whoops. I'll go faster now, it's going to wing mirrors to slow it down. So I hope you've liked this little video just showing all about the footage of how well this game plays on the GPD-14. If you're uh, in any mind of buying one, I would recommend going to uk.watergeek. This is not a sponsored video. I've just used them in the past and that's where I bought my GPD-14 from. And their prices were the cheapest, basically. For the UK anyway, cheapest prices possible. And you'll get 12% off if you use the code WGRC.
I'm feeling a bit bad for my car, I'm going to swap it. Something a little bit more classic for driving around the city. As you can see, when it's loading stuff in, performance may drop a bit. Still getting over 60 FPS, and that's at 15 watts. Oops! Cracked my light, I was too busy, both my lights! I was too busy enjoying the view. Anybody watch Train Spot and you'll recognise this bridge here. A black bull pub over here. Somewhere. <laughs> Scott Monument, just over here. Oh, we've got the trams then. Let's head up to the castle. We'll look at the Royal Mail. Go back along Princess Street again. Can you get out Princess Street Gardens from here? Ah, you sure can. No students for a change. I have to say, look how bright and vibrant it is on that screen down there as well. There's a train, huh?
Are we drive down a leaf? What do we think? Hopefully nobody will be singing in the street. This layout's a bit wonky. It doesn't look great on that big screen, I have to say. So I, I think it's a screen issue more than anything else, because it's looking fine on the uh, on the GPT-1 4 itself. Oh, you can't drive through this border. As you can see, there's a lot of names popping up on the map now and then. There is a lot of people driving around at the moment. I'm not following this guy, I just see it's a road I've not explored yet. I'll go this way. I think I'll spend quite a lot of this weekend playing this game. So if you're interested, you may see me online. And if you do, Make sure you say hello.
this person might have uh, tied up a bit, eh? Wheelie bins everywhere, bin bags everywhere, going on the roof. Where is it? Ah, hiding right there. Take a quick way back into town on the railway line. Oh no! I think I may have got myself in a position where I'm never getting out. Yeah, I think we have to respawn with something that's um, four wheel drive. We're a quattro. And I think this is as good a chain time as any to sign off this video. Thanks for watching. If you've watched all of this, I mean, must be really committed. Thank you. But I just can't put this game down. That's it. There'll be no footage for me uh, for this weekend. I think I'll do a Forza Horizon 4 battery test and we'll see how well this battery lasts. Pushing it to 15 watts. I'm quite happy with 15 watts. It's running just over 60 FPS. We'll test it out in some races. And I'll report back after the weekend. Hope you all have a good one. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.